Hi everyone, it's Master Wong here today. It's another beautiful day again. As you know, we came in to be near Christmas now and it get exciting and it's beautiful. So from now to Christmas, we're gonna be doing one a week, little bit on this question and answer for you and get to know you not a little bit more onto the question and answer. So that way, uh, if you got any question or anything like that, you can comment below here, then asking me, then I will be here to answer your question. So we're gonna have a few good questions coming in uh, today and then uh, let's see what happens. Okay, what's the first question? Okay, Master Wong. What kind of training can I do without a training partner? That's an interesting question. Uh, some of you write it in. What can you do without a uh, training partner? As you know, we at the moment in a, you know, a lot of time we train at home. I train at home a lot on my own. I normally do a lot of my own training. That's why you see, I got a puppet to dealing with. I got a tummy to dealing with. I got um, sort of like the punch back, but it's not really the back, but it's a, a particular tire, tile, you know, tie, the, the car tile. I put them in and then I bash them up for hand and do a lot of movement onto physical training and also do a lot of uh, uh, kind of, how you said, kind of conditioning uh, on your own. Because only you, only you can push yourself because if you don't push yourself, no one can push you. And this is very important. A lot of time you wait for partner, partner never turn up, you see? So this is why I do a lot of my own training at home on my own because nobody there when you need them. For you to training at home on your own, the important thing is practice the basic. Get into practice a lot of basic to get you to understand in the basic first. When you understand this basic, everything else you do become a lot more easier, okay? Start with the leg, with the body, some press up, and gradually you build them up. I have a lot of information like that on my website, so check it out. So now, it's that answer, the question for you if you're training your own. Now, if you want more on that, then uh, you can comment below on this video here or go to our website, masterwong.tv, and then you can ask me personal question there, and we'll add it on here. So what is the next question? Master Wong, how often should I train in a week to achieve good progress? And then that's another good question as well for how often you train in a week, you know. Depend on you. Like for me, okay, because a lot of time I'm going to talk a little bit about this, how I normally do it, and you go through it in your way of uh, basic thing like how busy are you in, how much work you got on you, every day and what sort of training you are doing, okay? So you understand more. For me, I go through the training every day differently. Sometimes I go for a walk in the morning. So that will be relax my body a little bit, get my mind in the right place, okay? And then I come back in the afternoon time, I do a little bit of stretching. So that helping me to do that, like practice a little bit of Qigong breathing in the morning, and that's the most important thing, the practice on your breathing. Relax your body a little bit, okay? And then the second day, I may be doing a lot of leg, for instance, to balance. So I can using a lot of uh, training on my own on the fitness side, onto the leg. Also, I doing a lot of Tai Chi side, the walking bit, the balance bit, to helping to get my legs strong, because it's always good to build from the ground up you know, from the leg nicely. And then next day, I will be like, have a little bit of rest. I don't want to overtrain my body, so I have a little bit of rest. Then I just basically chill out a little bit, relax, and eat a little bit healthier. And then I do a little bit more on the hand the next day, on the hand, upper body, to get my body a little bit better. So I normally train about four times a week in different way, okay? Sometimes I train on my mind by sitting there, imagine certain thing, imagination on different things, so helping my mind because I need my head to work in the business I'm doing, onto the coaching the student, so I train like that, three or four times a week, or in the physical side, twice a week, uh, on that to get my body in line, the rest is just nice and easy, soft to get my body in line, so it depends on you, okay, again, if you're in a different situation, um, your training, comment below here, then I may be able to help you on that. So I hope that answer some of your question there on that, and if still, you know, I cannot be answer 
all the questions that you really want to know. So comment below here what exactly your situation is and how is it and I'm helping you on that. So what's the next question on that? And Mas Wong, if you had a choice, who would you like to train with from the li someone that's still living today? That's another interesting uh, question. If it's somebody still living today. You know, a lot of time I always think about this. The one living today is I training on my own most of the time. So I do a lot of that. Living today, um, I don't really know. I really like to live uh, training with the people already dead. Why? Because I can learn a lot of about them. A lot about their philosophy, their thinking, their mindset. So things that they do, okay, and then I can learn from that because then the past so then that way I can train it on my own a lot into the present right now, okay, to learn them and for my future so I can able to project. So a lot of people like uh, are doing differently, want to train people alive. But because you do a lot of time you're training, you're training your, on your own to make sure you have the discipline to able to do that. But the idea is all the training that you need to do is already have to done by you. And everything else you need to learn, the new skill, the mindset, the philosophy, the way you need to be trained. You look back into the past, what sort of people do, how they get where they are, how they got that confident, how they do what they do. So you learn like that. So I love to learn things like from Bruce Lee. For instance, I am very inspired from him, the way he talk about the mindset, the way he do things, the physical, the, the basically the discipline that you need to do. Because nowadays, when you go and learn anything, you have to have the belief that you can do it. It's the believing system you got to have installed in your mind. Also, the identity of you. So if you are strongly believing in what you are learning and what you're doing is right, and that is all you need to make sure everything is good at your progress. Nowadays, when you're training with people, if their believing system is not in line with you, that will be a nightmare. So a lot of time, training is not about physical, but also to do with mental as well. And because the physical, the way they're doing things, don't match the mental and don't match your believing system, and that is the big, big problem. I have a slightly different believing system I have and a different framework I work by. So because of that, I love to learning from the past, you know, the people in what they've been doing, how they've been doing things, and how I can learn it right now in this present moment I am in this plane, in this world, and then using this to helping me now to for the future because things changing all the time and we got to be adaptable, okay? So that's, what is it? And if you watching full this and see that answer the question for you already and if it's not and you want to know more about everything else, comment below here and if you still want to ask me the personal question, sometimes a lot of time people come to the site because they want to ask him personal question, that's what uh, some of this uh, question come from, then it's a little bit more easier to answer you directly and also put on here to help other, okay? Anything else, comment below here and if you want to know more and then I will be here to answer all the questions you need. Otherwise, Keep watching, keep practice, keep learning, and I will catch up with you on to the Sunday. I'm doing some more about different things. Okay, Maswong here, and out!